Greetings and salutations. I come to you today with hopefully better sound quality. Um, I actually have pillows blocking my window to maybe hopefully block the car sounds that are always by me. Today, I wanted to make this video about the Himi Mia gouache set that everyone always is raving about and always asking questions. Is it good? Is it bad? Well, bitch. I am gonna answer those questions for you. I'm gonna give you my fully honest opinion on it. I was actually recently sent one of these palettes by the people at the Mia, but they didn't tell me that I had to make like a, a YouTube video. I thought that I would actually make a review on it because uh, it's time. It's time to know the truth. I must first go off by saying that I found it a little bit difficult to work with the palette at first and had many failed attempts, like quite a numerous amount. However, I discovered that it was best to work with the paints when it had like the full jelly-like consistency and not when they were dry and cracked because I did have two previous Mia gouache sets prior and I never really got the chance to like really adjust to it or learn to use it. Every time I used it, I always got frustrated and then just let it dust away. But I did use the old gouache first to practice with before using the new gouache and before opening it. And uh, it was dry, so I had to reactivate it with water. But I didn't like reactivate it by like mixing the whole mixture of paint, but I just spritz it and then use it like that. Which was bad because I feel like you shouldn't use this wash set with um very watery paint or else it'll be streaky your colors will not be cute so that's what i learned uh, after numerous attempts i finally got to this one and uh, I, I used fresh paint so make sure your paint first of all is fresh and uh, if it's not reactivate that bitch just put some water and just mix it around just so you can have that jelly like consistency again and you're not using a lot of water while you paint i also learned that it is important not to leave the entire palette box open as this can cause the paint to dry out quickly which i highly doubt is what you want so instead i recommend scooping out the paints that you'll need and then placing them on a separate palette before closing the case spritz the paints with water to keep them moist for a longer period of time with wor when working with this palette i found that limiting my color palette was beneficial i only used three colors red yellow and blue and then white as a you know to mix the tones it is important to note that using black and this goes for like painting anything with any medium black should be avoided as it can make colors dull and lifeless as well with white so it's good to limit your usage of both white and black when mixing colors but uh i, I will say i am a culprit of using white and i learned to uh use it well it's better to just mix both the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, until you get to this very dark consistency of like a dark brown or like a dark bluish, blackish, you'll you'll find a way. Um, or you could also use, I think it's like burnt umber or raw umber with ultramarine. Uh, again, this goes for like any type of medium or like painting medium, but at the end it is best to use both black and white paint in moderation, um, but don't use black. I observed that the colors dried almost exactly as they appeared when they were first applied, when they were first applied wet, which was pretty astonishing to me. A lot of gouache paints that I have used has dried like much lighter or dark, I think, no, I think it was lighter, um, especially like Holbein, which is the primary brand that I use. But yeah, for, for the most part, it dried to its expectations. Additionally, if you're planning to buy a gouache set, I recommend getting a smaller palette so that you have less to work with and it's not as overwhelming having many colors to choose from. Unless you're a skilled artist and understand how to apply colors well, three to five colors are enough to make a painting. But even then, I feel like professional artists usually use limited colors. I feel like you'd have to be like fucking god tier to <laughs> implement like 50 colors into a painting. I couldn't be me. I'd rather just mix the colors. But also, I feel like the less colors you use, the more um, cohesive or more put together your painting will be. I don't know how it works, just color theory. Um, but again, if you know how to work with colors, then go right ahead and get a bigger palette. But if you're a beginning young artist who can't comprehend color theory, bro, 
just fucking get the, the, the small palette. That's all you need. And then just practice through that. When I first attempted to work with a gouache set, I used a lot of water, like I said, um, even when it was um, jelly consistency. So when that happened, it was pretty fucking streaky if you'd ask me. But I feel like the paints require a small amount of water to achieve the right consistency. However, too much water can cause the layers of paint to rub off from the previous layer, which is bad for me because I like to apply a lot of layers <laughs> into my paintings. But uh, I did what I could. But for a good opaque layer of paint, it is best to refrain from using too much water or else you're gonna fuck your shit up just like I did with the skin. And I did not show me repainting the skin because I'm like, I don't want I don't want them to know about my mistakes, but uh, you'll see near the end. Even though this gouache set, I can't say gouache, gouache, gouache. Even though this gouache set is not of professional quality, I found that I had to apply multiple layers of paint to ensure that the white of the paper was not visible. The paint is pretty opaque, but not as opaque as I had anticipated. Um, like I said, Holbein, beautiful. And also the dark colors of this were more opaque than when I applied the white. So it, when you look at the shirt um, near the end, it's pretty streaky. And I had to apply like way more layers than I had to apply for the pants. Um, but that's just my thought. This set of paints does not blend very well. However, I prefer to add layers of tones and colors to give the illusion of blending. So it's luckily it's in my favor, but sometimes I do like to blend my colors. So either I just am still learning how to use this gouache or it just doesn't blend to my uh, liking. In some parts of my painting, they were there were noticeable streaks, probably me trying to blend, <laughs> but also the the faint opaqueness to it. Or I just did not blend the colors on my palette that well, which I actually can believe I lost my palette knife not too long ago and I have no idea where the fuck it went. Overall, I have been using Holbein gouache for over two to three years now and I have been spoiled by the quality of those paints because it's a uh, like professional gouache paint. However, for those who are just starting out or do not have the budget to purchase more expensive paints, I believe that Himimiya gouache is a good start. Is it the greatest? No. Is it exactly like professional A-grade gouache? No. But I have seen many artists utilize it well and create beautiful art with it. Additionally, I am confident that they have affordable refills available for purchase, which is awesome. Also, this is pretty affordable gouache set, I must say. Thank you again to the lovely people at Mia for sending me this new gouache set. Free plugin? Is that what it is? I don't know. Uh, but I just wanted to give my full honest opinion on it. I gave it a solid like seven, six, seven out of ten paints, especially for, for beginners. I think now that I know how to paint with these, I will utilize the paints more. This isn't my favorite gouache painting or sketch, but I will say I did a pretty fucking solid job. I'm not gonna show you my first attempts because they were fucking awful and I refuse to show my mistakes that's a lie but <laughs> i will only show you my great my greatest paintings and nothing less but I, th I feel like i still have to figure out like skin tones or at least i mean like i know how to like mix skin tones but i don't know how to apply it to the rest of the painting which at the beginning it was more the skin was more pinker than the the rest of the painting which i felt like kind of disrupted it because it wasn't as cohesive with it so i tried to make it more orangey but it didn't work out and then it got darker and then the the bottom layer was like it, it, it was it wasn't layering <laughs> it was showing the layering like i said prior but i did what i could the hands were kind of wanky i feel like the skin was just wanky in general but i tried my best and hopefully i get to do more videos with this squash set because i will master it I will master it. Mark my words, bitch. I will do it. And when I fully come to the mastery of this Himi Mia gouache set, it's over. It's fucking over. And I will reveal all of my secrets. Maybe not on here. Maybe I will. Or maybe on my Patreon. Also, great segue. If you want to see the full version of this video, 
look at my patreon go on my patreon it is only five dollars five beans five pesos it's not actually five pesos i don't know how currency works that well but five us dollars to get every full-length video of mine currently i only have two videos because i'm a lazy ass bitch but it has only been two months but with this video it will be three videos in all also the previous things that I have in there from like over a year ago when I used to have a Patreon. If you guys would like to support me, if y'all would like to support me even further, you can subscribe to my Patreon. If not, you can fucking subscribe here, bro. It's free. Free. Free content. And maybe follow me on Instagram because I post a lot there and you get to see a lot of my wacky fucking life <laughs> on my story and my sick ass outfits, bro. Anyways, I think I've rambled on too much and I will catch y'all in the next video. Also, I can't lie, um, but I kind of use an AI to help me write the script. <laughs> Thank you, Notion, <laughs> for not sponsoring this video. <laughs> but Notion, if you'd like to like hit me up, bitch, I'm here. I'm waiting for your email, for your call. Please, choose me, pick me. Anyways, I will catch y'all in the next video. Also. That the pillows help could you hear the cars because i feel like it was pretty solid okay bye